Well, the blast at Bengaluru's prominent Rameshwaram cafe opened a can of worms, pushing both central and state agencies into an overdrive to answer the mul multitude of questions to unravel the web of conspiracy, plotting and scale of machinery behind the blast. Now, as the agencies intensify the probe, Republic is shadowing the agencies as the truth of the probe is being unraveled piece by piece. Take a look at what Republic investigation team has unraveled. On March 1st, chaos erupted during lunch hour at the Rameshwaram Cafe in Bengaluru. As a low-intensity IED detonated, sending shockwaves through the bustling lookout. The explosion left a grim toll in its wake with nine individuals sustaining injuries in the sudden and harrowing incident. Republic leads the investigation into the Bengaluru Cafe Blast case, unearthing a series of alarming revelations. NIA intensified the interrogation of two suspected terrorists, Abdul Mathin Taha and his associates, where it reveals that Taha is a commander with ISIS and wanted in multiple cases. Latest investigation reveals that Taha was an entering student in Bengaluru studying BTEC. And in 2019, he came in contact with ISIS and dropped out of college and later joined a call center. Taha's ties with the Al Hind Trust and his association with Mehboob Pasha and Khwaja Moinuddin reveal the depth of his involvement with extremist organizations. Elevated to the role of an ISIS commander within six months, Taha played a pivotal role in radicalizing youth and facilitating their engagement in terror activities. He provided financial assistance and maintained a direct contact with ISIS handlers operating abroad. As the investigation unfolds, Republic remains at the forefront, unraveling the intricate web of terror. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Well, viewers, now new details have emerged in the Bengaluru blast case and uh, it has been uh, discovered that uh, Abdul Mateen Taha was an ISIS commander. He was an engineering student in Bengaluru and uh, his link uh, to the ISIS was established while he was studying. Let's remind you viewers, he was an engineering student and uh, he is also wanted in many cases. Uh, he made links with the ISIS while he was still studying engineering in college. While he was still in college, he established his uh, close links with the ISIS. Joining us is my colleague uh, Sunil from uh, the Bengaluru newsroom. A very good morning to you, Sunil. Uh, Sunil, now the latest details that have emerged is that uh, Mateen Ta Abdul Mateen Taha had links with the ISIS. He was a commander of the ISIS and his links uh, go back to as earlier as when he was a student and studying engineering. What other details have emerged? Well, uh, Abdul Mateen Taha, who is uh, in ISIS so, for South India, uh, he is basically from uh, Tirthahili of Shomaga district and uh, uh, he shifted to Bang uh, in around 2008 to 2019 and uh, he had established contact with ISIS handlers in South India. So after that, uh, he was working in uh, Bangalore in a call center company and uh, uh, later he joined Al Hind Trust, which is uh, uh, located in Gurupan Palya of Bengaluru. And uh, 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 at, the, at this uh, Al Hind Trust, he had uh, uh, established contact with uh, Mebu Pasha and Kwaja Moedin, who were arrested in Al Hind module case by NIA in 2020. Uh, regarding this, uh, this Abdul Mateen Taha and Musavir Hussain, both were uh, absconding from 2020 and uh, involved in uh, other terror-related cases which has happened in Karnataka, especially the 2020 Mangalore graffiti case and the Shumoga trial blast case, as well as uh, he, uh, it's suspected that he had links with the Mangalore cooker blast case and the Coimbatore car blast case also. Now the NIA officials are intensified the interrogation of Abdul Mateen Taha and 
and Musawiru Hussein Shahji, both were arrested from Kolkata and brought to Bengaluru a few days ago. Uh, now the question is, uh, the uh, person who is uh, uh, called as a colonel, uh, who had linked with all the terror cases which has happened in Karnataka, whether the colonel who is existing or uh, uh, the same person, Abdul Matin Taha, who uh, acted as a colonel. There is a question uh, uh, with the NIA officials and the investigation agencies, and they, they are looking for the details of colonel, whether he is residing in uh, Karn uh, India or uh, he is operating from abroad. So, intensified the... In uh, with the Abdul Matin Taha and the Musawir Hussein Shajib, they are trying to locate the other uh, people who were uh, radicalized by Abdul Matin Taha, and uh, uh, it's suspect that Abdul Matin Taha given task to these people to involve in some other kind of terror-related activities in Karnataka.